And it came to pass as the angels were gone away. From them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord has made known unto us. And 13 says, and suddenly there was with the angels a multitude, a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth. Goodwill toward men. Everybody say heavenly. Heavenly. Maybe they'll give me a chance to testify on the first Sunday of the year. But if you want to write that down, do. If you can't, don't sweat it. But say that word heavenly. Heavenly. And while you go throughout this day and this week, the rest of 2016, and on into the new year, when you think of heaven, what do you think of? What do you associate with that word heavenly? There are walls of jasper. There are 12 gates to the city, heaven. It has a Sistine Crystal River, heaven. There are trees that bear fruit with healing for every nation, heaven. There are walls of jasper. There is sunless light. The architecture supersedes any physical structure. There's no temple, and yet it's a city, four square, heaven. There are streets. Yes, sir. Paved with what? Oh. The music is symphonically precise. Yeah. Harpers on harps. Yeah. Singing is beyond imagination. Yes, sir. Angels, seraphim, cherubim, flying in tremendous symmetry. Tearless faces. Yeah. Not one sad moment. Yeah. Somebody say heavenly. 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 Reunions with persons you forgot yeah. you'd ever met. Yeah. With happiness you can't even compare to earth. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody say heaven. Yeah. The love is beyond the sweetest romance. Yeah. Till there's no room for wife or husband intimacy. And everybody gets their own mansion. Custom made for eternal occupancy. Somebody say heavenly. So much joy. So much contentment. So much rest. In fact, I heard Mahalia Jackson sing it one day. And said every day will be howdy, howdy, and never goodbye. Somebody ought to say, I want to go to heaven. No, no, no preaching. No, no, no preaching. No. But when you think about what happened on that Christmas morning, that was the first time you saw the curtains of heaven open and descend upon earth. And heaven and earth kissed each other for the first time since creation. And now the Savior was being born. Yeah. 
know Jesus today, don't let Christmas end without you letting him in. If you need him as your Savior, you want to dedicate your life to the Lord, you want to make room in the end for him, you can step down to this altar. So we're coming to the conclusion of this worship service today. What a wonderful day for you to invite the Savior to be your Redeemer and to be your King and to be your Lord. And the people said, Amen. Get your tithe in your hand.